causes causes are the same. So the causes of bleeding manifestations are 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 more or less the same. If it's a surgical intervention which has been done for a patient and and um, the bleeding happens secondary to the surgical intervention, that's a different issue. But otherwise, uh, in general, the causes of bleeding will be the same. Either the platelet will be affected or the coagulation factors will be affected. Now, internal bleeds. That's something which we are worried about. Huh? For any child who is having a known factor deficiency or any child who's having a known platelet dysfunction, whether it is a quantitative defect or a qualitative defect, External bleeds which are obvious, they are easy to identify, early to identify. Huh? So you pick them up very fast. Uh, that includes nasal bleeds also, that includes oral bleeds also. Huh? So you identify them very fast and you sort of intervene very fast. But uh, uh, for internal bleeds, whether it is inside the brain or it's inside the tummy, uh, to identify these bleeds early before a significant loss has happened is a challenging task. Okay. So that's why we say that uh, uh, these internal bleeds are, are, are something which are uh, life threatening. Okay. So they need to be uh, addressed as soon as possible. Now it's a challenge, it's, it's very difficult. That's why the best thing is to avoid the internal bleeds as much as possible. For example, if a child uh, is suffering from any of these disorders, we uh, advise the parents very I mean, strict sort of a lifestyle modification which needs to be done for these kids, okay? Um, with respect to their sports, with respect to their day-to-day -day activities, even with respect to the vaccination, all right? Uh, if they, these kids need a vaccination, then there is a set protocol which needs to be followed uh, during the vaccination also. And this is all to avoid uh, or minimize the risk of these internal bleeds because these internal bleeds are difficult to identify and by the time they are identified, probably the loss of blood is, is, is quite significant, okay, uh, in the form of, uh, uh, so usually how will it manifest, the color will go down significantly, okay, so you will see a child who is uh, pink some time back and then all of a sudden uh, the child starts looking pale, he might complain of headache, he might complain of pain in abdomen, okay, uh, so uh, any of these things in a child who has history of a bleeding disorder, should not be taken lightly or should not be ignored uh, and uh, it should be brought to the medical attention so that if there is even a small bit of internal bleed that can be addressed uh, as soon as possible.